Well, today's game, obviously, um, very pleased to come out on the right side of, uh, of the scoreline. Five goals, you know, I think it was a typical cup tie where both teams were going hammer and tongs at it. And, uh, you know, I think it was exciting for the crowd. Uh, very pleasing for us, obviously, to come through the tie um, in what was, you know, a very big game. And um, I'm pleased with the players and I think they've, um, they've done the club very proud today. Well, we played this system quite a few times this season, so, you know, it wasn't a particular system or tactics to to, to work on, you know, AFC Wimbledon. Um, you know, this is, the, this is the shape we've been playing most of the time this season. It stood us in good stead and, um, and coincidentally, uh, you know, AFC Wimbledon played pretty much the same shape for, for the first hour of the game. They, they changed a little bit in the second half and, uh, and went to a diamond in midfield and that caused us a problem for 10 or 15 minutes, but um, we weathered that. Um, and all in all, you know, um, things went to plan. Well, we managed to, you know, managed to open the scoring with uh, Moselle and Mola and um, it was a great goal. I mean, he, he, he drifted in from the right-hand side, picked the ball up, you know, centre centre of the goal, 18, 20 yards out, taking two touches, one with his right, and quickly, you know, let far on the volley with his left foot and, and found the bottom corner. Um, unstoppable goal, great finish to put us one up. Uh, we got pegged back and, you know, with an equaliser um, from Mark Nokovici and um, a little bit disappointed from that side, you know, defensively. I thought we could have been a little bit better. He picked up a flick and, and drilled it across our goalkeeper, Andy Little. But I was, you know, if I'm being critical, my second centre half should have been sliding around there and, and nullifying that. So, you know, they got back to 1 1 and um, it looked like it was going that way to half time. Uh, but then we managed to get our noses in front again with a, with a penalty, which was obviously justified. And, and Moses tucked that away for his second goal of the day. And we knew there would be an onslaught second half and, um, and to you know, Wimbledon's credit, they, they pushed us back and they threw bodies forward. They changed personnel and they played extra bodies up and it was a little bit backs against the wall. And they got the equaliser, you know, threw a penalty. Um, you know, we, nobody can comment whether it was or it wasn't. We're, we're too far away in the dugout. Referees get the decision, they stuck the penalty away. It looks then it's low, as though it's going to be a replay, uh, but fortunately for us, um, Alvis Hammond showed a bit of magic in the box and uh, swivelled and hit an unstoppable volley pass, Seb Brown, and um, crucial time to score, three or four minutes left, and we managed to hang on. Oh, it's, we, we, are, we are steeped in history, you know, with the FA Trophy, you know, um, legacies have been put down before by this club over the years. They have a great tradition, great success, um, and that's the history of the club. And um, you know, when you enter this competition every season, whoever the manager of Woking Football Club is, they know you know that that is that is you know one of the forefronts of their season. And um, you know, we we had some good some good games last season. You know, we managed to knock out Forest Green and eventually got knocked out by Oxford, who went on to get promotion. Um, this season, you know, we had a difficult time against Dover away, which we've come through. We've had AFC Wimbledon away, which we come through. So it will be disappointing to, you know, in the next round, whoever we play home away, to put a flat performance in, you know, when we've, when we've done a lot of hard work. So um, we'll look forward to the draw. And, uh, and when it happens, you know, we need to maintain this level of performance.